Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Star Wars Jedi Survivor video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a lot of the different outfit combinations that you can have in Jedi Survivor. Now I'm not going to be showing you guys where to find these outfits. I've actually covered that in some of my previous videos. That and there's like a million different tutorials on how to find every single outfit already on YouTube. So if there's any outfit combinations that you guys like from this video, you can search for literally every single individual piece on YouTube and you can find it. So the purpose of this video is basically just a fashion showcase. This is to show you some of the different outfit combinations that you can pull off. And all these different combinations in this video are all my personal favorite. So hopefully by the time you're done watching this video, you will have your Cal Kestis looking like an absolute badass. But before we get into the video, I wanted to take this time to thank today's sponsor, G2A. G2A is a global marketplace where you can find games for PC and consoles, DLCs, software, gift cards, and so much more, all for great prices. And G2A is currently running a huge sci-fi promotion with tons of discounts on some of the best sci-fi games such as Mass Effect, No Man's Sky, and even Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That's right, you can get Star Wars Jedi Survivor up to 28% off on G2A right now but that's not all g2a is currently running a yoda life advice competition you can win yourself $100 and all you have to do is create a piece of life advice using yoda speech patterns post your entry on social media under the contest post and then just wait for the results and if you use the code G2A sci fi sale at checkout, it'll apply a 10% off discount on everything in your entire cart. So if you want to pick yourself up Star Wars Jedi Survivor at a discounted price, now is a great time to do so. So a huge thanks to G2A for sponsoring today's video, and let's jump right into things. So first off, we're taking a look at the Exile jacket. Now what I think is so cool about this jacket is that it looks a little bit closer to the iconic Jedi robes. Now there are actual Jedi robes in this game, but those are like High Republic looking Jedi robes, and I'm just not a big fan of the way that these Jedi robes look. So if I want my cow to look like a Jedi, I like to go with the Exile outfit, and I like to go with the all white look. And then for the shirt, the shirt doesn't matter too much because all it does is change your different glove options. So for me personally, I like to go with the scrapper outfit because it gives you that one glove on your hand and you can change the color of it. And then I like to make it white so that it matches everything else. But then if you don't want to have any sort of gloves, you can just pick any of the outfits that don't come with any gloves. Then when it comes to the pants, there wasn't too many to choose from because nothing really goes too well with the Exile jacket. Unfortunately, they don't have any Exile pants, but I found that the Hermit pants from the Deluxe Edition actually work pretty well, but then the pants from the Jedi outfit actually work pretty well too. Now the white color in the pants doesn't quite match the white of the Exile jacket, but when you're running around killing things in actual gameplay, you can't really tell much of a difference. But if you don't like the look of the all white, I actually found that the dark blue Jedi pants go really well with the white top as well but for me personally i really like the look of the all white with the white glove and the blue pants or the white pants there's something about this combination that makes me feel more like a jedi so for the next outfit we're actually going to be taking our jacket off and then we're going to be putting on the training shirt and the commander pants now I really like this combo because it kind of gives me a Luke training on Dagobah vibe, especially if you change the training shirt to like a tan or like a green color. And then I really like the commander pants with this option because I feel like that cloth hanging from your belt just really ties this outfit together. So this outfit proves that you don't necessarily have to have a jacket on at all times. Sometimes some of the outfits look a little bit better if you don't have any jacket at all. Not to mention that it also makes sense on certain maps like Jeddah because why would you be wearing a long sleeve shirt or a heavy jacket on a giant desert planet like Jeddah? Sometimes you just gotta let the arms breathe a little. And to me, it makes sense that Cal would be wearing this sort of outfit on a planet like Jeddah versus wearing like a big coat or something. And then for the commander pants, I like to leave them at the default color, but then I also like to change them to the dark blue slash black color because I feel like that matches really well with the white training shirt. And since we're already wearing the training shirt, we can go back up to the jackets tab and we can put on the bandolier. Now I found that the bandolier doesn't really work too well with too many of the shirt combinations, but I found that the bandolier does work really well with the training shirt. I personally like the black and the red combo, and then I like to make the training shirt just completely all black. 
Now for the pants, there's actually a number of different combos that work with this outfit. You can either stick with the commander pants and make them all black, or you can even go back to the survivor pants, and then there's an option to make them black, so that matches really well together. Or you can go for the old scrapper outfit that you had in Jedi Fallen Order, and make those black and red, and that works really well with the bandolier as well. And I really like the vibe that this outfit is giving off. It just kind of makes me feel like I'm a bounty hunter or something every time I wear this outfit. So moving on to the next outfit, the next one's a pretty fun one, and it involves the bomber jacket. Now one of the reasons I really like the bomber jacket is because I think it looks good with almost every single color option that comes with it. I'm not a big fan of the green, but I like every other color option. I really like the tan version and then the black version. Those two are my personal favorite. And then for the shirt, I like to go with the scrapper shirt because it gives you the option of having that one glove on your one hand. Now you can go with the bomber shirt too because it also comes with some gloves, but I'm personally not a big fan of the bomber shirt underneath the jacket. I think that looks pretty ugly. So I like to go with the scrapper outfit. And if you don't want any gloves on your hands, I recommend going with the training shirt because it has some of the best collar options for underneath of the jacket. But for me, I'm sticking with the scrapper shirt. And then for the pants, I really like the look of the scoundrel pants that you get with the deluxe edition. Now, I actually really like the dark blue option of these pants. I think it looks really good with this jacket. But if you don't have the deluxe edition and you don't have access to these pants, the bomber pants actually go really well with the bomber jacket. And then if you don't like the look of that, you can always go with the survivor pants and then give it the dark blue slash black color scheme. And then that goes really well with this jacket jacket as well. So next up, we just straight up have the commander outfit. I really, really love the look of the commander outfit. This is one of my favorite outfits in the game. But for me, the light blue doesn't really do it for me. So I like to go with the black option. And then for the shirt, the commander shirt actually doesn't look too bad. But for me personally, I actually like the look of the frontier outfit. I feel like the colors of the frontier outfit actually go a little bit better with the commander jacket. So I'm going to be sticking with the frontier shirt. And then for the commander, pants in this specific outfit I like to make them black as well so this is definitely a really cool outfit I like having the option of having some armor I really wish they would have gone all out on having some like stormtrooper armor or something but honestly I'm not too upset with this outfit I think it looks pretty cool so the next outfit on the list I like to call the cowboy outfit now we're going to be using the frontier jacket now I like both the default color with the tan and the red scarf, but I really like the black version with the red scarf. That one's my favorite, so we're sticking with that one. And then for the shirt, there's a number of different options. Now we can just stick with the Frontier shirt because they're designed to go together and it actually looks pretty good. But I personally like the Scrapper outfit yet again because it comes with a glove and it comes with red sleeves and that dark blue slash black looking glove. I feel like it does a really good job of bringing the outfit together. And then another good combination with this outfit is the survivor shirt and honestly pretty much any of the colors kind of go well with this outfit but I'm going to be sticking with black and then for the pants you can stick with the frontier pants if you want them to look like a cowboy but for me personally I like to go with the survivor pants and I like to make them look either black or tan and I think one of the reasons I really like this outfit is because it reminds me of Cobb Vanth from the Boba Fett show and I think one of the reasons I really like this outfit is because it makes me feel like I'm the sheriff of the town and everybody looks to me for help and it makes me feel like I'm Cobb Vanth in the Boba Fett show when he was protecting his town. And then I also like to make my blaster look like a revolver just to go along perfectly with this outfit. So next up, I want to show you guys the drifter outfit. I don't know why, but this outfit kind of gives me some Sith vibes or maybe some Starkiller vibes. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I really like the jacket here. I think this is one of the coolest jackets in the game. And then for the shirt, I like to go with the bomber shirt. And then I like to make the shirt red so that the gloves kind of match the rest of the outfit. But then for the pants, unfortunately, the pants were kind of hard to find a match for because there's no drifter pants you kind of just have to mix and match but the pants that I found that work best with this outfit are either the survivor pants with the dark option the bomber pants with the dark red option or the Jedi pants so any version of the pants are going to work well with this jacket and like I said, this outfit is one of my favorites for running around and feeling like a Sith. So next up, we have to talk about the tactical outfit. Now the tactical outfit is one of my favorites because I'm a sucker for capes. Now when you change the different color options of the tactical jacket, it is going to change the look of the cape. But for me personally, I like to stick with the default white and orange. I think that looks pretty good. And then for the shirt, there's a number of different shirts that you can try out here. I like to go with the default survivor shirt, but then I found that the frontier shirt is 
actually a pretty good alternative as well. I feel like the colors of the Frontier shirt just gives you more options to play around with. So we're going to be sticking with the Frontier shirt. And then I like to go with the commander pants again. That way I have both the cape and this little side skirt at the same time. I think that looks pretty cool together. But if you don't want to use the commander pants, then a good alternative is the survivor pants. But for me with this outfit, I'm gonna be sticking with the commander pants. So next up, I wanna showcase the wanderer outfit. Now this outfit I think is pretty cool because it comes with a backpack and this mini scarf slash cape. Like I said, I'm a sucker for capes. So anytime there's an outfit that has any sort of cape, I'm a fan of it. Unfortunately though, I'm not a big fan of all the different color options for this outfit, so I'm just going to be sticking with the default color. And then for the shirt, the Wanderer shirt is actually okay, but for this outfit, I like to wear either the Frontier outfit or the Survivor outfit. And then for the pants, we're keeping it simple and we're just sticking with the Wanderer pants, and I feel like this is a pretty good and complete outfit. And then for the final outfit that I want to mention in today's video, we're going to be keeping it pretty simple, and we're using the default Survivor outfit but we're going to be changing it up a little bit and we're going to be removing the sleeves because we're going to be putting the training shirt on underneath. Then we're going to be sticking with the survivor pants. We're going to make those light. And then for the jacket, we can either keep it at blue or we can even make it a nice red. So even though this is the starter outfit, changing it to red and removing the sleeves makes a huge difference. It looks like a completely new outfit than the one that we had at the beginning of the game. So those are all of my favorite outfit combinations in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Like I said, if there's any piece of clothing that you guys liked in this video. I have two previous videos where I showcase the locations of some of these cool outfits. And then there's also literally a YouTube tutorial out there for every single piece of gear that you can find in the game. So if there's a jacket or a shirt or pants or a collar scheme that you guys like, just YouTube it and you'll easily find the location. So that is going to do it for everything in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please give this video a thumbs up. If there's any cool outfit combinations that you guys have, let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you guys really like this video, then I might consider making a part two. I love the fact that there's a million customization options in this game. It gives me a lot of different things to play around with. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and that is going to do it for me, everyone. And I will talk to you all in the next video.